friends. Hello. It's Miss Andrea with Everett Public Library. And today I get to do story time from my home, which means you get to do story time from wherever you are. What an adventure. Do you remember our hello song? You can, you can say hello and wave, or you can use sign language and say hello. Tap your head, hello. And friends, you have two friends and they give each other a hug. Can you do that? friends. It's time, you point to your watch, it's time to say hello. Should we sing? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Should we do it again? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Yay! Can you say hello to your fingers? Hello fingers, hello fingers. Goodbye fingers. Where did they go? Are they behind your back? Oh, they're behind my back. Hello fingers, hello fingers. Goodbye fingers. <laughs> my fingers are feeling kind of shy today and that's okay. <gasps> they see other friends, they're happy, yay! My first book today is called On My Leaf by Sarah Gillingham and Lorena Siminovic. And on this book, we have a little ladybug. It's a red ladybug and he has spots on his back. How many spots do you see? Should we count them? One, two, three. Three spots, wow. And the back of this book there's a little hole that I can put my finger in, and when I do that, I can make the ladybug move. Here we go. On my leaf. On my leaf, I watch over the garden. Wow. Do you see anything that squirms and wriggles in this garden? Oh, look. There's a worm. <laughs> I flit through the shiny raindrops. Did you see the snail? I stop to rest on tender grass. Do you see any other insects on this page? Oh, there's a grasshopper. Then I crawl up a flower for a drink. Do you see any other insects? <gasps> there's a butterfly and there's a butterfly. With my family. <gasps> Look at all the ladybugs, wow! Can you help me count all the ladybugs? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven ladybugs. Hip, hip, hooray. We've read our first book today. Yay. This next story you've probably read before. It's um, Brown Bear, Brown Bear by Bill Martin. So I would like you to help me. If you've heard the book before, we're gonna say the piece that repeats and I'm gonna hold up each animal. So we're gonna start with this brown bear. Look, he even has googly eyes. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see, oh, what is this? It is a bird. And what color is this bird? Oh, he's a beautiful red. I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? Oh. <laughs> honk, 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 honk. Is that a duck? It's a yellow duck. I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? Oh, I see 
a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. What does your frog say? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. What does your kitty cat say? Mine says meow, meow. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Look at that white dog. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Look at all the wool on that sheep. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Glob, 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 glob. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? You see the teacher. I'm looking at you. Hip, hip, hooray. We've done another rhyme today. Yay. Now that story always reminds me of sheep. And I have a friend here. Isn't he lovely? Oh, he's a wonderful fluffy sheep. He's a black sheep, see? And he's got all this wool. Wow. And you know, we shave the wool from the sheep and we're able to make all sorts of things with this wool. Do you know the nursery rhyme with sheep and wool? Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. One for the little boy that lives down the lane. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Oh, what a nice nursery rhyme. You know, some of the words in that nursery rhyme sound very similar. They rhyme like wool and full. Did you hear? Wool and full. They sound really similar. Or dame, which is another word for woman and lane, which is another word for street. Dame and lane. They sound very similar too. Should we do that nursery rhyme again? All right. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master and one for the dame. One for the little boy that lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. Oh, thank you for joining me for that story, that rhyme. I love playing with words that rhyme. Let's see, listen to the next four words. Listen to them. Mop, flop, plop, and tag. Which one doesn't rhyme? Mop, flop, plop, and tag. Did you say tag? You're right. Mop, flop, and plop. They sound very similar. Oh, let's play again. All right, I'm gonna say four words. Listen for the one that doesn't rhyme. Pig, run, jig, fig. Which of those? All right, here we go. Let's listen to him again. Pig, run, jig, fig. Which one doesn't rhyme? Did you say run? You're right, you're right. Okay, one more time. Listen carefully. Let me tell, tell me if you can see which word doesn't rhyme or which one doesn't sound the same. How, cow, log, chow. Did you get it? All right, here we go. I'll say the four words again. How, cow, 
log chow. Did you guess log? You're right! Ah, I have this great book that also does rhymes. This is called The Rhyming Dust Bunnies by Jan Thomas. And we have permission today to read this book from Schuster and Schuster. Excuse me, Simon and Schuster. The Rhyming Dust Bunnies by Jan, Jan Thomas. Here we go. Hello. We are Ed, Ned, Ted, and Bob. We rhyme all the time. Did you see? Rhyme time. They sound the same. They're similar. All right. Hey, what rhymes with car? Hmm. Far, jar, tar. Look! No, Bob. <laughs> Look does not rhyme with car. What rhymes with bug? Rug, hug, mug. Look out! No, Bob. Look out does not rhyme with bug. What rhymes with dog? Hog, log, fog. Look out! Here comes a big scary monster with a broom! Bob, no. Look out, here comes a big scary monster with a broom. Does not rhyme with anything, really. No. Okay, okay, but... Run for it! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Good call, Bob. Okay. So where were we? Oh yeah. What rhymes with cat? Cat. Sat, pat, rat. Vacuum cleaner! Ah! <laughs> um, Bob, what rhymes with how do we get out? Hey, Paper Ray, we've read our second book today. Oh, what fun. The Rhyming Dust Bunnies by Jan Thomas. I have had such a fun time at story time today. I hope you have too. Should we wiggle? All right, let's wiggle. We wiggle and we wiggle and we wiggle and we stop. Do you remember the sign language for stop? Put our hand out. Stop. Nice. We wiggle and stop. Are you ready to play our game? We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and stop. <laughs> Should we play again? All right, are you ready? Here we go. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and 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 stop. Nice work. When I say goodbye. I wave my hand like this. Sometimes I wave with the other hand. I always clap my hands for all my friends. And if I want to be really cute, I wave with both hands. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Should we do it again? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thank you so much for joining in. We'll see you next time. Bye, friends.